All right, guys, Papa Pepper and Pinkie Pepper here today with the tale of the mystery rabbit. You want to see what happened with this thing? Stay tuned. Papa Pepper, the mystery rabbit. All right, guys, Papa Pepper here with Pinkie Pepper. And this was kind of an interesting one because we're watching the rabbits of Bluer Than Green and All For The Good. And they've got a couple in single cages and then kind of some of these dog kennels next to each other. Our little community pens. There's a big one down there, Red Buck. He used to be ours. We traded him for another one because we're kind of breeding more for just the natural color at the moment. And this morning, after checking them for a couple days, we found this little thing. Check that out. It's just a tiny little rabbit in here, but we're like, it's not newborn. It's got its eyes open, it's got fur, and it was in this right back there on that bin. So we're like, what in the world is this? Plus, it's got like perfectly natural colors. Um, we're not picking up much light here. But it's, it's a very natural colored rabbit. So we're like, did a wild rabbit's baby somehow find its way into this cage? Uh, what's going on here? And it was, I mean, convincingly a natural color rabbit. Now, like I said, we're breeding some right now for this coloration ourselves up on ours. And we're getting some that look very wild. But this one here, um, the other thing about it is it was real stout, real fat. So I'm like, you know what? It looks thicker than a wild rabbit would. So we figured, you know what? Let's let's think for a minute. Oh, it's nibbling on its toes right now. So what we did is uh, we thought about it for a minute. I said, you know what? There's these holes that they got down in the ground in here. And I'm like, I bet that one of the holes is actually a nest. I bet one of them is a burrow. And somehow this one just got out of it. Take this child. So we came back and checked, and sure enough, oops, the one just ran out through that hole. But this little hole here, I had Pinky peek. I said, hey, look down in that hole once. Look, there's one. And she peeked down in there. See if you can reach it out. And she crawled in there earlier. She reached her hand down there and managed to pull out a little baby. So because of how small the hole is, the big buck can't get to him because sometimes they'll kill him. Oh, it's, look at whoa, that one. It's huge. Yeah, it's much huger. Wow. This one must be a same runt. size, uh, yeah, same size ears on stuff. It must be a runt, but we'll get him back in his nest so he can uh, be fed by his mother. So there's a couple of lighter ones we found earlier yeah, there too. There's a silver one. I felt some more in there. So she's gonna put those back, but um, as far as I know, bluer than green and all for the good had no idea that rabbit had even had babies. They didn't mention anything before they took off. Um, when I mentioned something to them on the phone this morning. They, they weren't sure what had happened. Whoa, that's a little rat too. A little baby black one. Very cool. Wow. That's three so far. That's three and they're all different colors. <laughs> like I said, we had some sort of like a gray one earlier that was much lighter than all of these. I thought there was two like that, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I thought I saw one but it reminds me of uh, when I was young with uh, my brothers and living with Grandpa Pepper and my dad. Um, we had some rabbits in a outside enclosure too and they would periodically dig holes and uh, there was like two rabbits maybe and a guinea pig out in there and one day we came and only the two rabbits were there the guinea pig had disappeared and we're like did an owl get it did a hawk get it did something happen and what had happened is the rabbits had dug a hole and the guinea pig went down the hole and then they buried the thing alive and uh, I realized the hole was gone I was able to dig it out reached my young you know like 12 12 year old arm maybe down in there and just at the tip of it I could actually grab that um, grab that guinea pig and pull it back out so uh, something to be careful of but these guys are doing well they're living in this community together they've got enough space and they're reproducing on their own so got some good news for all for the good and blue red and green uh, this is the hugest one compared to that uh, okay well let's get them back home mm -hmm. all right guys pop out as always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steemit.com and join the revolution. Papa out.